and welcome to our lesson on multiples of numbers and unknowns. So we'll begin by working out the multiples of 4 between 7 and 20. So the first multiple of 4 is 1 times 4, which is 4. The second multiple is 2 times 4, which is 8. And we can keep working out the multiples of 4 until we get to 20. So the multiples of 4 between 7 and 20 are 8, 12 and 16. We don't include 20 because that is equal to 20. And for question B, the multiples of 3 between 8 and 16. The first multiple is 1 times 3, which is 3. 2 times 3, which is 6 and so on. So the multiples of 3 between 8 and 16 are 9, 12 and 15. Do you want to try and work out the multiples of 9 that are less than 60? And for question D, the multiples of 7 that are odd numbers less than 50. You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. For question C, the multiples of 9 less than 60? Well, here are the multiples of 9. And you can see the numbers less than 60 are up to and including 54. And for question D, the multiples of 7 not our odd numbers less than 50. Well, the multiples of 7 we have, and the odd numbers we have 7, 21, 35, and 49. Okay, let's move on to the multiples of unknowns. So we're going to begin by working out the first five multiples of a. Well, the first multiple of a is one times a, which is a. The second is two lots of a, which is two a. And the third multiple is three times a, which is three a. So every time we are adding on another a. So we have four a and five a. And for question f, the first five multiples of a plus b we have one lot of a plus b. Our next multiple is when we multiply it by two. So we have two lots of a plus b. Then we have three lots of a plus b, four lots, and then five lots. We could leave it in brackets, which is absolutely fine. Or as an example, we could expand the brackets. So, we are, so if we have two lots of a plus b, we could write that as 2a plus 2b, and then 3a plus 3b, and so on. But for now, I'm going to leave the answers in terms of brackets. Do you want to try and work out the first five multiples of 4r, ab, and y squared? You can pause the video and resume it when you're ready. For question g, the first multiple of 4r is 4r, and then we have two lots of 4r, which is 8r, three lots of 4r, which is 12r. So you can see every time we are adding on another 4r. So we have 16r and 20r. For question H, the first multiple of AB is AB. Then the second is two lots of AB, which is 2AB. Three lots of AB, which is 3AB, and again we're adding on another AB every time. So these are your multiples of AB. And finally for question I, the first five multiples of y squared. Well the second multiple is two lots of y squared, which is 2y squared. Three lots of y squared, which is 3y squared. And again we're adding on y squared every time. So 4y squared and 5y squared. Okay, thank you very much for watching and I hope you found that useful. Thanks again and take care.